From the News 19 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Efren Afonte with your tropical update. We continue to watch Tropical Storm Florence smack dab in the middle of the central mid-Atlantic. Wind sustained at 60, gusting to 70 miles an hour, continues to move to the west-northwest at 16 miles an hour. It's still getting its organization, but right now Tropical Storm Florence, the key thing is that even though it's out in the mid-Atlantic, the five-day track from the National Hurricane Center continues to have it move to the west-northwest, generally in the vicinity of the central Atlantic. Here's the Lesser Antilles Islands. It is far away from any landmass right now. And over the course of the next five days, it may weaken a little bit as we get to about Thursday morning. But by Thursday afternoon going into Saturday morning, it'll start re-intensifying, still staying as a tropical storm and still staying out in the Atlantic. But as of 8.30 this morning, things change. This was potential tropical cyclone number seven. And the National Hurricane Center this morning now made it Tropical Storm Gordon. Now, it is still getting its act together. The latest information from the National Hurricane Center from radars and buoys, wind sustained at 45 miles an hour, gusting to 60. Now, it is moving relatively quickly to the west-northwest at 17 miles an hour. Now, the latest track from the National Hurricane Center does put it pushing through going into later on this afternoon somewhere in southwest Florida and then by Tuesday morning into Tuesday afternoon it'll be back out into the waters in the eastern central gulf by Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday morning that's where the concern is as it'll make potentially a second landfall and I'll explain why a second now this track does take it from, to the, from this morning into Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon. And the track right now does impact portions of the Gulf states and the lower Mississippi Delta. Now, tropical storm warnings are already in effect for southern Florida. Pretty much everything along Alligator Alley, which is Interstate 4, and everything south of that from Miami to Naples, Homestead, Florida. And if you remember, Homestead, Florida was the area that got devastated by Hurricane Andrew. Key West, Florida, the upper keys are now under the tropical storm warnings. Offshore tropical storm warnings are in effect for the west coast of Florida from Tampa all the way down to Naples. Now, you do have tropical storm warnings in effect for the Mississippi Delta. The concern is, is that it makes a second or first landfall regardless between Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday early morning. So pretty much after midnight Wednesday going into Wednesday morning. It may make landfall anywhere from Morgan City, Louisiana to New Orleans, Louisiana, Biloxi, Mississippi, Mobile, Alabama, Pensacola, Florida, and possibly along or west of uh, Destin, Florida. But again, this is a current projected uh, path by Wednesday early morning. This will change, no doubt. That's why they have tropical storm warnings in effect for not only the coastal regions of the parishes of Louisiana, but as well as the counties coastal for both Mississippi as well as Alabama, right along the Florida-Alabama line. So that's the setup right now. Now, the latest information and the reason why that track takes it straight out, the latest setup right now, and there is tropical storm uh, Gordon. Very broad area of high pressure over the mid-Atlantic. The steering currents in the upper levels of the atmosphere will take Gordon and continue moving west. All the features around the area of high pressure that circulate clockwise will continue to push Gordon and stay out in the Atlantic. Now, it has been raining steadily and very heavy rainfall in southern Florida for the last 12 hours. Over the last three, you can see well-defined the eye starting to develop, at least as far as radar is concerned, where this puts the eye or the center of Tropical Storm Gordon roughly 40 to 45 miles south-southeast of Key Largo, Florida. Very heavy rainfall is now coming onshore in my uh, Miami-Dade County all the way up to Melbourne, Florida. And all of that heavy rainfall along I-95 in the eastern portions of southern Florida will continue throughout the day today. And that heavy rainfall is already starting to push into portions and south of I-40 Alligator Alley into southern Florida. So they're expecting very heavy rainfall associated with this. And as you go throughout the course of the day, that heavy rainfall will push all the way to the southwest coast of Florida and certainly into the Florida Keys. Now, tropical storm warnings are in effect from Miami all the way down to Homestead, Key Largo, the Florida Keys into the west coast along and south of I-75. 
and the tropical storm warnings will remain in effect until Thursday morning. But along with the tropical storm warnings in which winds could be excess of 50 to 60 miles an hour sustained, they also have a flood watch in effect for southern Florida because the amount of heavy rainfall they're expecting, even though it's a flood watch, they're expecting by the time it gets done, anywhere from 10 to 12 inches of rainfall. That's a conservative amount that will change, but that's why a flash flood, a flood watch is in effect for the southern tip of Florida. So as we continue to watch Tropical Storm Gordon, it will not be impacting South Carolina, but no doubt with this track, it'll be affecting not only Florida, but it'll be affecting areas of Alabama, Mississippi, and Louisiana over the course of the next 72 to 96 hours. We'll continue to update this. We'll have another update after 11 a.m. Monday morning when the National Hurricane Center comes out with their latest update. And of course, an update at News 19 at noon.